welcome to this devotion. I'm Mel Sanderson from the Trinity Graduate School. I want to take a few thoughts from for today out of something that Dietrich Bodhoeffer wrote a long time ago in his work Life Together. He wrote this, he said, The weak must guard against pride, and the strong against indifference. None must seek his own rights. If the strong person falls, the weak must guard his heart against malicious joy at his downfall. If the weak one falls, the strong must help him rise up again in all kindness. The one needs as much patience as the other. In Ecclesiastes, which is where he goes, at chapter 4, and I read from verse 10. And he's speaking, of course, in the context of two people being better at a task than one. But he leads in and he says, For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to help him rise or to help him up. This is a devotional, so not intended to be an accurate exegesis of the text, and, and um, I think that Bonhoeffer gets hold of an idea here in his whole work of uh, titled Life Together. What is it to live together? And this idea that when we live together, we live together with people who are in many ways different to me. We're not clones and so I'm not working with or worshipping with or living with in family terms or, or doing life together in a community or congregation uh, with people who are just replications of myself. We're all so different. Some are strong, strong are weak. And sometimes that is reversed when the weak become strong in some areas and those who are strong have areas of weakness. And so we, we learn to live together with this idea of the weak and the strong. The point is, uh, I think that too often uh, the strong fail because they lack not a companion, but a companionship in accountability, a companionship with accountability. And accountability is, for me, looking back over many years of ministry, something of a myth very frequently. Oh, it's present in language. It's present even in policy, but seldom present in practice, for it's very difficult to hold the powerful accountable and when they fail how then do we respond do we take glee in their falling or do we with humility knowing our own frailty help them to rise again god bless you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week